roadsters with a pen that is very smooth and almost slippery. It wants to just zoom ahead. This pen is a um, Eversharp Symphony pen from the 40s and it really has a nice flow to it that um, just makes me want to draw in any different direction. It sort of doesn't want to, um, it doesn't have a shape to the end of the nib, so it's a little like uh, a boat without a keel, but in this case it's it's fine because it's so smooth and um, well, just so smooth. I guess they're all smooth if they don't have a keel. But anyway, this is the guy in the car, and he's driving his. This is the figurehead on this car, big beaked bird. Let's see how he's doing with the a different pen. So he's racing one. Let's see what this one does. This is another Ever Sharp Symphony pen. This kind of sports car is, is a it's a souped up tractor. It has a big wheel on the back and a little wheel on the front like a farm tractor, except this one is souped up. A hot rod. Guess we'll put a plow on the back. smoke coming out of the exhaust in the front. These pens, um, both of the pens I'm writing with are Eversharp Symphony pens from the 40s. And as I said, they have a very rounded nib. And um, they really just want to glide. Um, the last uh, car I'm going to draw in the race is drawn with this Eversharp Skyline pen from the same era, except this is a very fine nib that is a little bit prickly. So this is going to be a Jalopy, slightly rusty jalopy. Looks like the way that Charles Schultz used to draw pig pen. Yeah, this one is the the odd man out. The other two are really sliding along. This one has a little bit of uh, drag to it, but that might be because I, I haven't set the nib in right yet. If a nib is put in the pen a little bit wrong, it's gonna, its tines are going to be slightly crossed. Not crossed, but not lined up. And this, this pen is sort of stuttering. This car, rather, is sort of stuttering. Shaking and 
making lots of noise. This one is not going to win the race, at least not at the moment. Let's see if I can figure this out. The nib is very tightly put in there. It's a little bit of a burr this way, so if I do that... Normally I can tell with my fingers whether the nib is set right. But these days my fingers don't tell me as much as they used to, and I need my loop. And sometimes that doesn't tell me what I need to know. But anyway, so the other two pens are going to win this race. This, this car is just made, you know, won't even make it past the finish line because of its being made with these sort of staccato lines. There's nothing wrong with this pen at all. It just makes me want to draw in a different way. Not so loosey-goosey as that, but a little bit more. Um, it wants me to make little short lines. Spurts. I think it wants me to draw in spurts. This car is leaving little bits and pieces of it in the roadway as it's chugging along. Meanwhile, the tractor, go back to the tractor pen here. It's not only moving ahead, but it's plowing the fields. But I think the other one is the one that's going to win the race. This one is just very slick. Yep, yep, this one is going to win. This one, this is a very, um, it just makes you want to draw fast. It, it's really just wants to go quick. And for uh, artists that like to draw very, very quickly, moving their hand around and using up the whole page, going from one end to the other in one big long stroke, this is the pen for them. Um, this one, the um, other tractor pen, that can do the same thing, but it also seems to not want to do it quite as much. I don't know how to explain that, but again, it's the pen is, is determining how I'm going to draw. And this one here, this is, this may not even make it past the, the start line. And again, I think I need to reset the nib. Which I will do later and see if I can make this pen work. You know, this pen could have been dropped in its early life and the nib could have been slightly damaged. Um, and again, I'll, when I, as soon as I find my loop, I'll take a look to see if it actually was damaged. But, um, you know, it just, it seems a little sharp, but I'll fix that. Here we go. Look at that. Race cars, a race tractor, and a jalopy. Thank you.